How to prove adultery. Adultery occurs when a married person has a sexual relationship outside marriage. Finding out that your spouse has cheated can be emotionally devastating. You will probably feel anger and betrayal. Even the mere suspicion of adultery can be disorientating. However, proving adultery may allow you to get divorced faster or get more assets in the divorce. If you want to prove adultery, then you will need to collect circumstantial evidence of the adultery and hire a lawyer who can advise you on the legality of your collection methods. Preparing to gather evidence. Determine why you want to prove adultery. Before the advent of no-fault divorce, proving adultery was one of the few grounds on which a divorce could be granted. Today, however, couples can simply claim irreconcilable differences and be divorced. Nevertheless, some states allow people to file for divorce immediately if they can prove adultery. If they claim irreconcilable differences, then they may have to wait a period of time, such as six months. Some states still consider marital misconduct when dividing marital property or awarding alimony, but many states no longer do. For these reasons, you should think about why you want to prove adultery. If your state doesn't take adultery into consideration when dividing assets or awarding child custody, then there may be little reason to expend energy finding proof of adultery. Read your state law. You should read your state law to see if adultery is considered during a divorce proceeding. You can find your state law by searching the internet by typing divorce or dissolution of marriage along with adultery as search terms. You also should see how your state defines adultery. States can define it differently, and many states refuse to provide a clear definition, too. Sexual intercourse may not be required. In South Carolina, for example, there is no requirement of intercourse. Instead, sexual intimacy is sufficient. Such intimacy has been found when a married woman shares a cruise ship cabin with another man even though they did not engage in intercourse. 3. Mississippi, by contrast, defines adultery as voluntary sexual intercourse. 4. Check to see how your state defines adultery, if it provides a definition at all. Identify the reasons you suspect adultery. Before taking the time to try and gather proof of adultery, ask yourself why you suspect it. Studies show that men who suspect a partner of cheating are correct only 50% of the time, meanwhile, women are much more accurate in their predictions, 85% are correct when they suspect a spouse is cheating. Common warning signs of infidelity include. Your spouse expresses less interest in sex. He or she is away from home an increasing amount. Suspicious voicemail messages show up on your machine or suspicious receipts pop up in your spouse's wallet or purse. Your spouse often wants to go to events or functions alone and is hard to reach when at work. There is increased mileage on the car although your spouse does not work far from home. Meet with a lawyer. If you are confused about the weight your state gives to adultery in divorce proceedings, then you should meet with an attorney. An experienced divorce attorney can advise you on whether or not you need to prove adultery. A lawyer can also advise you on the legality of collecting certain kinds of evidence. For example, you can access your spouse's cell phone records and emails with a subpoena. However, it is illegal to snoop or try to hack into someone's phone or account. If you hire a lawyer, he or she can properly subpoena the necessary records that can help you prove adultery. To find a qualified divorce lawyer, you should ask friends and colleagues who have gone through a divorce if they would recommend their lawyer. For additional tips, see Hire a Divorce Lawyer. Understand direct evidence is not required. You do not need to actually catch your spouse in the act with someone else. Instead, you generally need to prove that your spouse had the opportunity and inclination to commit adultery. However, your circumstantial evidence must be sufficiently definite that you can pinpoint the time and place of the adultery. 7. Although you don't need videotaped evidence of the adultery, you need more than vague suspicions. Testimony that you've seen your spouse flirting with someone else at dinner parties is not sufficiently definite to show that your spouse had the opportunity and inclination to commit adultery.